I'm Peter Robert. We're here today to share some information about a new air conditioning refrigerant that will be in your shop soon if you haven't already seen it. I'm talking about HFO 1234YF, also referred to as R1234YF. HFO 1234YF is the auto industry's accepted solution for a low global warming potential refrigerant with a 99.7% lower global warming potential than R134A and no ozone depletion potential. HFO 1234YF is not compatible with other refrigerants. SAE Standard J2888 establishes that unique service fittings be used to reduce the possibility of cross-contamination with refrigerants and lubricants used in other air conditioning systems. The new refrigerant is considered mildly flammable. Because of this, the supply tanks are white and red in color. The container could have red handles, as shown here, or a red ring near the top of the container to indicate flammability. HFO 1234YF systems with a conventional compressor use a PAG oil which is specific to the compressor. Applications using high voltage electric compressors use the same pole oil that is currently used with R134A systems using high voltage electric compressors. These are just a few examples of the compressor oils available. The PAG oil used in current R134A systems is not compatible with HFO 1234YF systems. HFO 1234YF has lower solubility and does not mix well with current R134A PAG oils, so make sure you're using the correct oil for the vehicle you are servicing. All evaporators, original equipment, and replacement must pass rugged assembly and durability testing and have a permanent label, stamp, or etching that indicates that the evaporator design meets the SAE Standard J2842 for the refrigerant for which it was designed. The recovery, recycling, recharging equipment must meet the equipment requirement standards for HFO 1234YF refrigerant specified in SAE Standard J2843. Here's the Robin Air GE50 300 machine from GM Dealer Equipment. It is an example of a certified HFO 1234YF machine. If your HFO 1234YF recovery equipment detects contaminated refrigerant, it will stop the recovery process so you will not contaminate the refrigerant in your recovery equipment. This means you will need separate equipment to recover and properly dispose of the contaminated refrigerant. Here we have a recovery system for contaminated refrigerant. It consists of a recovery pump and a tank. This will allow you to evacuate the contaminated refrigerant from the air conditioning system you are working on. The SAE Standard J2913 sets the requirements for electronic probe type leak detectors. The detector shall have at least three scales that can be manually selected. The sensitive setting of 4 grams or 0.15 ounces a year, the least sensitive setting of 14 grams or a half an ounce a year, and the mid setting of 7 grams or a quarter of an ounce a year. The ultraviolet leak detection die should also be certified that it meets the SAE standard J2297 specification by a qualified independent laboratory. And let's not forget the technician training. The technician shall be trained to recognize which refrigerant is being handled, how to handle it safely, and be equipped with the essential information, proper equipment, and tools which are unique to the refrigerants. From the perspective of system operation, HFO 1234YF systems have operating pressures and system components that are similar to the previous air conditioning systems. One noticeable difference in system components is the internal heat exchanger design of the evaporator hose assembly. This design allows the vapor exiting the evaporator to absorb additional heat from the liquid line entering the thermal expansion valve. By bringing the liquid temperature down, the capacity to absorb heat is increased within the evaporator. This design is also being used on some R134A systems. As you can see in this cutaway of the internal heat exchanger, the high pressure passages are very small and could plug if there is a major failure in the system. 
Due to the similar operating characteristics, your diagnostic and service procedures will be comparable to the air conditioning systems you are servicing today. The new leak detector and HFO 1234YF machine will help you locate any leaks, make the necessary repairs, evacuate and recharge the AC system accurately and safely. One last thing to note, our 134A and HFO 1234YF oils are not compatible, so double check that you have the correct oil for the system you're servicing. Check back often as we continue to add videos to help you help your customer. Thanks for watching.